Yo, what's going on? My name is Devon, and I'm going to be doing a short tutorial for you on how to make an audio visualizer in FL Studio 12.4. Now, before I get started, I gotta say that I don't know if this will work exactly to a T in FL Studio 10, 11, or 12. And when I say 12, I mean 12, the standalone version. So it's going to be a little bit different. In fact, I don't even know if you could do a visualizer in 10. So you might want to be prepared for that. Without further ado, and that disclaimer out the way, uh, let's begin. So as you can tell, we got our uh, FL Studio loaded up, and the first thing you want to do is obviously grab a track. It doesn't matter which track, but for this one, I'm going to use the brand new song that came out from Hyper Potions called Time Trials. Very, very, very great song. I recommend actually even taking a look and maybe even purchasing it, but this is what it sounds like. Okay, so basically we just put this in there and as soon as we put this in there, what you want to do is you want to double click. You want to go over and you'll find this box. The first box that you'll want to, or first arrow that you want to click is click this arrow right here. Then you want to scroll over to your channels and click assign free mixer track. If you didn't want to do that, the hot key is control L. So it actually puts it in a free mixer track and you'll see that the name will be right here. So make sure you have the one selected and then you'll click the drop down arrow over here and you'll look for something in the visuals called Z game editor visual excuse me Z game editor visualizer. You click on that, wait for it to load. And it'll pop up with this blank screen. So this step necessarily isn't um how can I explain? This next step that I'm about to do isn't really required, but it'll definitely make it easier and make it look more flashy, I guess, in the long run. So what you want to do is go to Add Content, and then you scroll over to Images. Click on the Add Pictures. And when you do this, you can look for any picture you want. But for this one, I'm just going to use an example of the actual Hyper Potions um, picture that they use so you're going to use the image source that'll be the second one down here you'll click that and then after that it'll be selected now you may not be seeing it and it's not going to pop up just yet and you'll be like why well you actually have to select it now so you're going to look and click this drop down arrow that says none right here and then as soon as you do that you look at the image effects and then you'll find one that says image click on that one now maybe a little bit small so go to your size and then bump it up a bit so now it looks really nice so after that you will want to add the actual visualizer so you click on the plus that I just did over there and then you'll go to the uh, excuse me you'll go to the peak effects now I just click uh, choose linear and let's see what it looks like Now, this one actually does look kind of funky right now, but that's because of how the smooth, like how smooth it is. And it's also not running at 60 frames right now, so it's going to be a little bit different. Um, you can also mess around with these. Uh, this, um, this changes how smooth the... Uh, actual visualizer will be like if you want it to hit sharp and stuff or if you want it to go really smooth it'll look very smooth as it insists so you actually can just move that around um i'm gonna do that right quick for you and you can also change the uh, opacity of it to uh the opacity is if I remember correctly it's over here somewhere yeah the first one is the opacity so it actually doesn't have to look like that um, now this next step is optional we pretty much already did all the stuff that we needed to do this one's completely optional sometimes I like to add it because it does look nice you go down to this one over here and then you click the plus again and don't forget you can you can have I think it's up to five it might even be more but I've never done more than five you want to click on it again and you will look for something called audio shake now 
this is going to change how it's going to be. Now, this is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. Well, you don't have to add that much. Okay, so that's just pretty much in a nutshell of what it looks like. All right, so after you're all done and everything, you wanna to go to your settings and say you wanna export it to video. Um, this right here, you don't necessarily have to mess with, but uh, if you really wanted to, um, I can tell you about it in the comments if you ask. It's it's really nothing major that you'll probably need. So I'm just gonna to go to complete tricks. I'm gonna make it over this other one that I made earlier. Here's where you can change the resolution um, for my internet, it isn't exactly the best since I live in a rural area, so I just put it at 720p. The video bitrate automatically be 16. Uh, you can obviously bump it up from there. The audio bitrate, um, say if you're doing some kind of music or something, you want to have it usually sitting at around 256, but since this is an example video, I'll just keep it at 128. Um, the audio codec, if you want to have it absolutely lossless, you can choose on FLAC, but you don't have to. And everything seems to be ready. Uh, this will be the output of the song. Usually you want to keep it at wave, but if you keep it at FLAC, then I'm pretty sure that this won't pop up, but I usually keep mine over here. Uh, I usually want to keep it at 256. Um, keep all these. This will be the... Uh, these will automatically be selected. Same for these and the miscellaneous. So, you just click start, and after that, it should be rendered in your video or wherever you saved the last destination for it to be saved. So, without further ado, I guess that is the end of this tutorial. If you have any comments, please do not hesitate to ask me about them in the comment section below. With that, I hope you guys have fun with this and let me know what you guys create. Alright, see you.